Alrighty, uh, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the start of a new series, um, where I am currently playing some Balloons Tower Defense Battles. Um, if you haven't seen this game before, it's basically uh, Balloons Tower Defense 5, um, except you're playing against another player, and you use... I'm going to place it like right about here. You use your... Um, towers to defend your side and you can send them balloons certain amount of balloons depending on the round certain level of balloons rather um, and that allows you to try and take them down essentially so we're gonna wait for one more paycheck here and get lightning um, so that's a pretty common strategy right now I thought of it originally myself I did not see someone else do it first for the record um, but we're gonna start building up our econ here once you get lightning it's um Oh, no, they're not grabbing lightning. Weird. Lightning's one of the best tools. They're just buying more apprentices? Apprenti? I am not know. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep building up our econ here. The higher level the balloons are that you send to them, the more econ it gives you per round. Um, so you can see, obviously, I'm spending money here to send the balloons, but the, the green number, the money I'm getting per round down here, is going up. So that's how much I get like per like paycheck or whatever. So we're just going to chill at a monkey apprentice for a while and build up our econ to hopefully around about 500. Um, and then we're going to start building some uh, attack shooters and hopefully upgrading them to the ring of fire. And that would be like the ideal scenario for us. Cool. Going to keep sending. It's about to be around six, I think, in a second here. So then we're going to go ahead and send green balloons. To keep boosting our econ even more. You can see we're gaining even more money per round. I don't know why they're not buying just a lightning. Lightning would clear like all the balloons I'm sending them so fast. I'm just so confused about what they're doing. I am not here to question it. I'm just here to try and uh, beat them. <laughs> I really hope that I can uh, level up pretty quick and get my, my attack shooters leveled up. Um, but especially also my ninja monkeys leveled up because my favorite strategy before when I played this game and I was like Actually really 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 good at it. Um, I used to build Just uh, monkey ninja monkeys and banana farms and monkey villages and that would be my entire game plan um, And it worked incredibly well mainly just for one reason um, and that was because Oh man, I'm $3 short. And that was because there's Monkey Intelligence Bureau, which makes any any towers in its radius be able to pop all balloon types. And so it was crazy strong, only because then the blue, the Ninja Monkeys didn't have to worry about popping leads, which is like their only weakness. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I'm just gonna sell it even though it kinda hurts. I'm just placing them strategically for now. Um, and we're gonna... We're going to save up and go ahead and get one Ring of Fire, just to prevent anything too crazy from happening. We're going to stock up with pink balloons once we get our towers set up. We're going to get these to a point where they're not useless as well. Do I really not have any camo balloon or camos? I don't think I'm going to... That's not going to do anything to me. I forgot that I need I need ninjas for camos, so I haven't gotten them yet, but um, why are they sending this to me? It's not going to do anything. It's it, The reason why you don't send balloons like that if you're trying to kill is because they they pop too easily and they travel too slow to like actually make a difference. I'm not going to buy distraction. It's just a waste of money at this point. Um, yeah, we're going to go and build up our econ now. So we're going to send pink balloons because it's the most gold efficient way to do it. Like, sure, these give me more, but they also cost significantly more, and they take a long time to actually get sent out. We're gonna get to maybe 650, and then we're gonna keep upgrading. This person's still very confusing. Once we get to 650, it should be good to go ahead and grab another one of these bad boys. Uh, 
I don't want the blades. The ring of fire is always better. Honestly, I don't need the active. Do they not have any? Oh my god, wait, I just kill them if I send them camo. What? You're joking. You're joking. They, they have no camo sensing right now. I think I just win if I just do this. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, their weakness was exposed. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. I think we've been sending camo balloons before. But um, that was an interesting one. We'll go ahead and hop in another one because that was a that was a short one. Um, this time, oh, I have new towers available. I'm gonna grab those before I go hop in the next game. Okay, um, just we have more options depending on the map and such. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the the white wasteland. It might take a second to get into the the uh, actual match just because of. Um, Lack of players. This game's not as popular as it used to be, but oh, okay, that was actually a pretty quick one. Sometimes it takes a very, very long time. I don't have very many medallions, as you can see right now. I keep spending them on on stuff. Um, but this is normally my my two core combo. If sometimes I'll go for a buccaneer, but um, it's not super worth it. Oftentimes, I think that I generally get the best value out of these three towers, and then I kind of normally just play off of whatever my Bonuses. Ooh, Super Monkey's amazing. Yes, please, don't skip. Don't skip. I'll say... Bring it on. Oh, I didn't actually click it. Dang it. Uh, either way, we're going to start again with a uh, Monkey Apprentice. Where do the balloons come out here? Oh. Weird. Yeah, I would have had it all wrong. I'm gonna place him here, I guess, then. I'm actually gonna, I'll choose a power-up to not lose lives right off the bat. We're gonna grab lightning. Oh, they're already losing lives right off the bat, too. This is a really weird map. I wish I'd taken Buccaneers now. Traced out the positioning of this. I thought it was gonna be a little bit better. Either way, we have lightning now, so it's not gonna affect anything. Um, same strategy as last game, essentially. We're gonna adapt to the situation. But, um, looks like he's got engineers and attack shooters right now, so he's gonna do really well against, um, against kind of just a lots of weak balloons. So I think the best strategy to beat him would be to, um, would be to send them lots of just kind of high tier balloons as much as possible. Like, once we're able to get to an MOAB, as soon as we're able to send it, I think it's probably just gonna kill. Almost for sure. We're going to build up to about 500 econ again. Um, and then we're going to... No, we're probably going to just save up and get a super monkey. I think that's going to be our best bet. So the, since we do have super monkeys, the name of the game is just going to be Outlasting. Because um, if we get to the, the stage of, of uh, blimps, it's just going to be real easy for us to... Um, to survive with super monkeys on us. Cool. We're almost at 500 econ. We're overwhelming them a little bit, which is nice. I'm hoping to send them some pinks once we get to that stage. I think that actually might work pretty well. I was just saying that's where they should thrive, but they sold their, their tack placer so now they only have the engineers so it's and these what oh they sold and bought a super monkey so they have super monkeys too okay so maybe my theory is a little wrong only because of that um but either way we hit 500 so we're going to save up and grab ourselves a super monkey either way i think it's round i'm trying to remember exactly what round it is where you can send a blimp i think it's 15 so if we get to round 15 and they don't have like plasma or something like that, I think it still might be a good idea to go with our original strategy. Cool. Super range, we'll buy first. I don't know why they're sending me regen balloons. That's weird and honestly kind of annoying. I'll just go ahead and use my tax real quick. Might as well. If we save up and buy, 
I'm just gonna go and use it too. There's no point in not using it. Um, since they send not coming from the end. What? This person clearly does not know what they're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and grab laser. It's really kind of funny that we both ended up super monkeys. We're gonna see if his is uh, an extra tower or if it was something like that. Oh, I don't need key sense. There we go. Whoops. Okay. I'm gonna grab plasma before I do anything else, I think. Cause this guy's just gonna do everything we need. I don't even need him to have extra range, honestly. Doesn't super matter. Okay, that's a problem. That is, that is in fact a problem. I shouldn't die from this, should I? Okay, it seems like they stopped sending it anyways. Um, we're gonna grab another wizard with monkey sense. Because he's correct to assume. Wait, actually, can we just flip that on him? I know the. Does the cleansing work on camo? I guess let's just check. Yeah, it does, sadly. Okay. Oh, it wasn't 15, maybe it's 18. Yeah, it shouldn't, he shouldn't be able to just kill me with camos anymore. Should be okay. I would like to have built up my econ more than this by now, but it's hard. Stupid cleansing foam. <laughs> um, I could try to send just a slew of rainbows. Might actually do it. Got the red hot spikes out of them. Sometimes the just slew of rainbows is the best. Oh, it's way too much to... I knew that he was going to do the power-up from that because uh, I knew he was going to send something big. Hopefully, yes, nice. We killed him before he healed us. <laughs> that, was, that was a scary moment. Kind of had to be a quick decision. Um, I knew he was going to send something like that because he just used the balloon boost. So I balloon boosted and sent just a bunch of rainbows because they go way faster. Uh, maybe one more match. We'll try to do this. We're gonna gamble again. Oh, whoops. We're gonna grab our new towers real quick. I just wanna grab. It's not gonna show me now. Come on. All right. Oh, it's just power-ups. Oh, I don't care about power-ups. I barely use them. Um, Quick play. Back to the arenas. We're gonna go White Wasteland again. Hopefully it's not too bad. Back when I used to play this game all the time, I was uh, a member of the club, so I got all the uh, extra stuff, and I got like free spins. Um, and me and my me and my brother would play all the time. But um, this is definitely a game that's near and dear to my heart. When my brother played, he was actually in the the top 100, I think, worldwide. So it was um, it was pretty crazy considering how much, how many people I guess there were playing at the time. It was uh, pretty crazy to see that, you know, my brother was one of the best people in the world. Um, Cause it wasn't, you know, obviously like right now that probably wouldn't be too impressive cause there's not that many people that actually still play this. But I think that um, that gives me just a, a good, kind of foundation for the knowledge of this game. I was playing against and with him a lot, and uh, honestly getting getting beat up pretty hard most of the time. So I could go for a snipers here. Um, I think, oh, man. Oh, I hate cards, I'm skipping it. I hate that map. Absolutely, oh, I love park. Park's great. Park's always great. Um, Buccaneer's not worth it. We can go for those two, and we want something with AoE, so bomb. Give us something cool. Oh, engineer perfect. Engineer's perfect on this map. Absolutely. Um, we're still gonna start with our wizard with lightning strategy, but we're gonna stock up on engineers after we get our econ set up.
Just a couple more paychecks. We'll get our thing. Wow, how did they? Are those? I thought those were 1,200. Are they only 800? Hmm. Cool. We got lightning. Now, as soon as we get more money, it's going to be sending balloons time. Honestly, I might be able to just take some early lives off of him once it gets to slightly faster balloons. Although no, no, now he's got the upgrade, so it's it's probably going to be hard. Oh, I needed this footage over sooner. That's okay too. Lightning's able to with, withstand for a while for us. Some of them might get now. They're not going to get past. Stupid pink balloons. I don't think they're gonna be able to do anything. We have three. Yeah, no. Pink balloons aren't able to do much. Oh, we need to switch to green now. Here we go. Once we hit that 500 threshold, it's engineer time, and then we're gonna have a lot of fun. We are going to take some lives off. Look at that. That's nice. I bet he's mad now. <laughs> Ooh, now I get to send him yellows. Hee 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 hee. Might actually get past their gunner now. Okay, we hit 500. Now it's engineer time, as I promised. So these things have kind of okay range, so we're gonna kind of put it in between. But we also want it to keep its range generally good for the sentry guns. We're not gonna worry about the nails itself, its power is the sentry guns, really. So we're just gonna upgrade it to that, and we're actually gonna buy a few of them that are just like that. We're just going to buy a few of them that have sentry guns and faster engineering. I think we're going to buy one more. Just we want quantity over quality right now. Eh, that probably wasn't the best spot to place it, but that's fine. I just wanted to get more map-wide sentries. Oh no, please don't realize my weakness. Yeah, I'll just tack it. Why not? There's not really a point in not doing it. Now I have Monkey Sense, so he thinks he's got me. But, little does he know. I got Monkey Sense now. Sorry, I'm trying to say he. I'm trying not to assume, even though their name is Logan Lee. Um, we're going to grab one by the end here, I think. I think it's just going to do us some good. Faster engineering. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get some more econ now. Let's see. Do you have camo? Yeah. <laughs> now I just have a crap ton of stuff. Um, I mean, one blimp and he's gone. I just realized that, actually. We're just going to save up for this round. One blimp and it's over. There's no way. I don't think that gunner's strong enough. Come on, come on. We can send a, a slew of rainbows as well. They're coming in hot. Yeah. I think I think they're just done for. I don't think there's a way. Haha, <laughs> they're gonna die before even the blimp gets there, huh? Oh no, actually. But I mean there's no way. There's no way they survive that. Beautiful. And that is how we do that. Yeah, you just gotta be able to know and expose their weaknesses. And that's 
how you do that. <gasps> Beautiful, yes. Two of my favorite towers. Now that gives me a whole new strategy. Once you get monkey villages, it'll be amazing. Perfect. Well, I think that's where I'm going to stop it today, as we've been going about 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, a few great games. Um, obviously, not all of them are perfect. I'm still catch kind, of, kind of catching back up. But um, yeah, if you want to see more of this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe and have a fantastic rest of your day.